Hi guys, David here from the WP Guide. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video about a shopping cart plugin. Um, I've been testing a few carts for different clients who want to have uh, either use WordPress as a shopping cart site or just sort of add one on to their current site. Um, I've got a few that I've been testing. This one I've just installed here, which I quite like. Um, it's called Cart 66. This is the light version of Cart 66. They also do a, a paid version which probably has more bells and whistles, but I'm just testing at the moment, so I've gone with the light version. Um, and it was it's easy to install, you just uh, I went to plugin search for the plugin Cart 66, done the usual plugin install, and here it is. I'll just run you through it. Um, this is the products area. What I like about it is that it's just simple, there's not really too much to do. It's, you have short codes which you can use in pages, but all I need to do is put in a product name, I can give it a number a price. I can choose whether the user defines the price, so if I wanted to have something where the customer would want to recommend how much they want to pay me for something. Um, I can choose whether it's taxable. I've got shipping options, so I choose if it's to be weighted, has a weight to it as well. Um, I can do a minimum, minimum order and a maximum order. And below, further down, um, we've got all the products that I've already added. Um, one cool thing is it's got the digital product options which is excellent if you're going to sell a downloadable product like an ebook or even a downloadable video or you know some kind of file or zip file you can use um, this integrates with Amazon S3 so if you don't have an Amazon S3 account you won't know what I'm talking about this might not be any use but Amazon S3 is a simple storage solution and integrates with that so that means you can store files in Amazon's cloud and you can deliver them via your own WordPress site. I mean, I think this is excellent. There's nothing too technical. You just have to put in uh, your Amazon settings in the cart, in the cart settings. But I'll just show you a, bit, a few more settings around it. Um, I minimise that. I've also got the product variations, so I can have things like small, medium, or large, and also colours. I've got custom fields here. I've not used any of them. I just like the digital delivery option and just how easy it was to add products in. And you can see just below, these are the products I've currently got added in here. I've just been playing around, so I'm going to start adding a few now. Um, down on the left is just the usual options for the cart. Um, if we go into settings, okay, so this, these are the settings pages. And there are quite a few settings for this for this light version of the cart. Um, but just to show you the main ones, we've got currency, so you can choose the currency um, of your site, um, the location of your site, things like that. You can choose which countries you want to ship to. Um, you've got all the PayPal settings in here. Um, we've got the uh, all the different cart checkout set settings. Let's have a look. Tax rates. You can put all the tax rates in for different states. Um, payment gateway settings. You can choose to use a payment gateway. Some of these features, here you go, like this one actually, doesn't only this only works with Cart 66 Professional, the professional version. Um, email receipts. Um, you got. You can change where the store home pages. Um, analytics. These are the Amazon S3 settings here. It's just got loads of loads of cool little features actually that are pretty good. Um, iDev affiliate, affiliate it integrates with, that's in the pro version as well I think. Um, I mean it can do lots but the basic stuff, the Amazon stuff comes with a light version and ability to add products. Just to show you how easy it is to add a product um, obviously there's loads more settings, you can jump to all these settings on the left but definitely worth playing around with. Here's a my store page I've made you'll see here I've just added some products in there to play around um, and this is like what they call a short code so this is automatically built for me with the click of a button. I'll just show you if I wanted to add a new product, so if I scroll down the bottom and I type in here something like webinar, if I do group webinars I could sell them with this product rather than people just sending me money via PayPal, I can order it from here so if you look what I do, if I go back up I've got this little icon cart 66, if I click on that it opens up the cart um, products for me and from here I can just choose from the drop down what I want to add so I can choose group webinar 
and I can have got the options here to allow the user again to define the quantity so this one's for quantity the other one was actually for um, the price but this one is for quantity so I can set a default con a quantity if I wanted to I can change the button text so you could change that to say buy it now and then it changes down below when I could click off the space I can put in styles I can choose whether to show the price or no price or price only um, I can also put in my own button if I wish uh, I did try one earlier but yeah I can put in my own button but all I need to do then is actually just click insert short code and you'll see this piece of code appears here and that is really it and all I need to do is then save the page if I just jump to the page I've made so it's on my site it's on the shop link on the right there but you'll see this is this is it I've just got this um, these are the ones I've just added here uh, you see the buttons pretty big that's actually to do with the theme that I'm using is stretching that so I need to tweak the theme to bring that button to make it smaller but it's really just an add to cart someone could uh, these these options are user defined if they want to change the quantity they can so I can put in two if they wanted and then they can click add to cart and I've put in all the PayPal settings all the API settings and stuff like that so it goes all through PayPal you see here this is how the shopping cart looks and they can choose to you know delete stuff they can click continue shopping or they just click checkout and what it does because it integrates with PayPal all they do is actually just go to PayPal you don't have to do anything within PayPal it makes all the buttons and stuff for you um, let's, this button here should be loading but it hasn't so let's just click on that then that should just take me to PayPal to pay. And once they've paid, because I've put in the API and the uh, the IPN settings in PayPal, they get redirected back to my site after payment, um, so they're not left in PayPal. But great little cart, cart, cart 66 is called. Um, I recommend having you have a look at it, playing around with it. If you've got products to sell, if you've got digital products to sell, it's an excellent little cart. It's free. Um, it's you know it's simple to set up and you can away you go you can start you know selling stuff directly from your site if you've got a particular theme there might be themes out there that actually integrate with cart 66 I'm pretty sure that um, elegant themes integrate with cart 66 um, but go check it out it's just uh, always something to keep in mind if you have people who want if blogs and they want a shopping cart on it um, it's definitely a definitely a cool little shopping cart I've got some other ones I'm testing but this is one to look at Okay, more videos coming. Uh, keep in touch on the site. Any requests, just let us know.